Get $25 off your next purchase of Armor Shield 9 using promo code Cali25. Link in video description. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today is Wednesday. And I did buy something from Copart. It's not what you guys think though. It's not what I wanted. But I did buy something. So as you can see, I got the trailer, and I got the truck, I got a jack, I got some jumper cables, I got some tools in the back, so so I'm ready to go drive um, another hour and a half, check out my nose guys, it's healing but I'm going to have a pretty bad scar right there, um, so yeah guys, like I said, um, you can even see it worse right now. Hopefully it'll go away. Um, but um, like I said, um, I'm going to San Martin, get a project. I did get a truck. I didn't get the truck that I, that the GMC Sierra that I wanted went higher. Uh, I also bid it on some other cars, but they went higher than what I was wanting. And um, well, I got something pretty cheap. I got I got involved in the moment and clicked it and got the final bid. Nobody else bid it, so that's what happens. But either way, it's cool. Hopefully it runs and drives because I didn't go and check it out. He said he ran and drive, but you gotta go check it out in person because I mean it could run. You could be blowing smoke, it could be rattling, the, it could be knocking, but as long as he's running, then you know it runs. So, so yeah, guys, see you guys in a bit. Part. I'll see you guys in a bit. Waiting for them to come and pick up the receipt, but I'm gonna show you this. That was the price of the truck. Okay, guys, so I'm waiting for the, and I can't see so the sun, but I'm waiting for the truck to come out. As you can see behind me, I got the trailer, but I'm not gonna get it. I just want him to bring it out. And usually they load it on the on the trailer with the forklift, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that because the truck says it runs and drives, so I want to drive it up the the, the trailer. Um, I usually tell them to drive it out, but I saw in the picture since I didn't come and see this truck in person, um, I didn't start it, I didn't move it forward or backwards. So I saw in the photos when when they were showing the engine. I'll probably put a picture somewhere around here, but um. Like by the radiator, radiator, it seems like it splashed at some point because I could see like some dried antifreeze and I saw like, I see something wet. So I started thinking that maybe, you know, the radiator um, broke at some point or, or it overheated. I'm kind of getting concerned about that, but I'm thinking that maybe, um, you know, it's got no, no um, antifreeze, uh, you know, it's completely drained out. So I don't want to risk it know having them driving it out and overheat or, or something you know so uh, I mean I decided to get the forklift and bring it outside but I'll turn it on drive it on the trailer it won't be that much but I could check it out and see if everything's okay and and if it doesn't well I mean if it drives then then it's good but um, if it doesn't drive you know I could always go back inside the office and tell him you know the car the truck won't drive and I don't know I've never returned the car but I know for a fact that um, that if the car doesn't drive and it's advertised as, as a driver, then you're not allowed, I mean, you're not forced to take it. Because when I bought the in the, what is it? The E65, you know, Black Widow, the black BMW, um, it said he ran and drive. But remember, I took it home, he didn't start, he didn't want to drive only backwards. So um, I called back to the cold part, um, to the cold part, and I told them what was happening, and they told me that if I was still in the yard, that they would, they would be able to, take it you know take it back and refund me the money but you know I wasn't there so they couldn't do nothing about it so like I said that's what they told me so I'm gonna make sure the truck does run if it runs but it's overheating then that's not their fault because you know what well, it runs and drives so we'll see okay guys so we're about to leave I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek in the trailer there it is Let me know what you guys think it is. It's 
the truck but let me know what you guys think it is in the comment section guys what's up guys so i'm still here on the road but let me show you guys something i was gonna turn that way but now you'll see the truck but check this out and oh, look at the bearing i started grind it started i started hearing a noise like something was loose and then all of a sudden the wheel went like like i felt the the the, the wheel moving so i stopped in the first first exit removed the wheel and found this so now i'm stuck i'm stuck on the side of the freeway well not on the side the freeway's down there but um i got off at the first exit which was pretty close when that happened and well i already got the part um ordered and they have it at AutoZone. so it's like a 12 dollar 99 cents um with a three-year warranty for the bearing itself that's all it needs it doesn't need nothing else i gotta get the new bearing like i said it's gonna go in that way of course the new one then this thing's gonna hold it and once i tighten this thing up in place i gotta add this one and then this little clip in the middle to hold everything to you know won't let it go out but um the whole thing moved like this guys see how this thing is moving the whole wheel went like this guys that was pretty scary um let me show you guys a nice little sneak peek on the truck there it is you guys saw it there it is guys check it out uh, some of you may know already what it is but like i said leave a comment if you know if you think you know what it is what i bought um check it out guys check this out i'm in the middle of nowhere in the middle of nowhere there's the flea market this is highway 101 guys so I, I was going north but now i'm going south when this happened i was going south so let me see if i could get up here and so you guys can see the no you guys can't you can see the red flea market right there So some of you, if you guys live right here in the, like Monterey County and stuff like that, you guys notice that that flea market. Hey guys, so we're back on the road. Um, I just stopped at what is it, Prundell to get a uh, get a hamburger from Burger King because I was starving. But we're back on on the road. Huh? We are about to pass um, Salinas, so go we'll see. What's up, guys? So um, as you can see, I'm home. So it's time to show you guys the truck. Like I said, it's not the one I wanted, but I wasn't I wasn't um thinking of buying it. Um, but I did go for the other trucks. They went higher than I wanted, so um um I was already about to close the app and I was, but then this thing popped up and like I think the higher the highest bid was like 150 bucks. So I just stayed to see how much would it sell for. So it said it run and drive, runs and drives. Insurance was selling it. Um, I think AAA. As you can see right here, 
AAA was his insurance. That. But I didn't go see it in person. That's my first mistake. So even though you, the truck or the car might seem good, just depends on the price also. But I mean, it's really up to you, you know. But you know, I decided to risk it. Yeah, it was four hundred bucks. I did four twenty-five. Somebody else did um, four fifty, and I did four seventy-five, and nobody else went for it so i got stuck with the truck um, it's a 1990 nissan uh, b21 i believe it is the uh, 2.4 liter um, automatic two-wheel drive um miles so it's honestly it's low miles for the for the age that's low miles that's like maybe around a little bit over 5,000 miles per year um registration is up to date it's up to date um the plates are due the tags are due um, next year. So 475 bucks, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Get $25 off your next purchase of Armor Shield 9 using promo code Cali25. Link in video description.